Uh, Jared Roughhead, 34 years old, uh, former footy player for the Hawthorne Footy Club. Spent 15 years there, now currently working in administration at St Kilda. Uh, early day life for me uh, was spending time back in the country and my went out the boys. So um, country roots meant a lot of outdoor work, whether it be footy, basketball, cricket. Um, as much time as we could, I was normally outside uh, mucking around with mates or playing sport. AFL is definitely more savvy when it comes to uh, training in the heat now. You see training in the mornings um, to try and beat the heat, but you also see a lot of players now zinking, um, screening and, and covering up as best as they can to try and avoid getting burnt. Uh, I guess the only UPF clothing that I've actually heard of is something that construction workers or you know people that are tradies that are outside that are normally wearing this type of clothing. But as you can see, I'm wearing the nice long sleeve polo here today, um, very light. You know, something that you could almost wear to work today too. So um, if it was around as a player and it was there for, for training attire, it would be definitely something you could think about. Yeah, so in 2015, I actually had a, a melanoma on my bottom lip um, that had to cut out. Initially thought it was just a blister or a spot on my lip that would go away, but it never did. And once I got it checked, uh, they moved pretty fast and made sure that they cut it out. And then in 2016, unfortunately, the melanoma had spread and. Uh, I had four tumours in my lungs that needed to be um, treated for. Yeah, so some differing emotions, obviously you get scared. I was 29 years old at the time and had recently been married, so um, life was on hold at that moment. Um, but I had the great people at Peter Mac to look after me, I had a great nurse and a great oncologist, and um, you know they, they outlined what was gonna happen for us to move forward. I guess post uh, second diagnosis, I had some different emotions and whatnot going through your mind. Um, initially, you know, similar to, to my lip, I just thought it'd be something that would be able to be cut out and um, I'd be back to playing footy soon. But, you know, this is something that I understood pretty quickly once the oncologist said, you have four tumours on your lungs, that it was um, a lot more serious. And unfortunately, you know, with the road ahead that I was looking at going through, it was gonna be some tough times and, um, you know, some of the things I experienced, whether it be at the Peter Mac Cancer Centres or um, just in everyday life, um, you know, your releases were taken away from you. So um, scared is definitely one because, you know, you don't want to think about the other option when it comes to cancer, but um, had a lot, had some great people around me, um, a lot of positive um, thoughts and whatnot, um, which helped me get through. Some of the treatments I went through were every three weeks I had an infusion um, of two drugs that were at the time of trial. So, um, you know, you're, not, you, you're almost like a guinea pig for um, the cancer centres, but there'd be some great positive news around this type of drug and trial. And, um, you know, I was pretty open with my nurse and my oncologist in everyday um, changes, which, you know, unfortunately there was some side effects, but, um, you know, after six to eight months, I, well, I'd had PET scans and CT scans and they'd showed that the tumours had gone, which was great, so. Uh, December 2016, I got the great news that I was cancer free. Uh, I was able to start my my job again, which was playing footy. Um, so, you know, I'm now five years, almost coming up five years cancer free, which means I don't need to have scans, I'll just have follow, follow up skin checks um, to make sure that, you know, everything's in order. Yeah, so my attitude towards sun, I guess, before my diagnosis was no different post. Um, as I said, mentioned in uh, some parts of this chat before that um, understanding my complexion and, and freckles and you know the, the type of um, skin I have, I'm, I'm not great for tanning or being outside in summer. So um, I was always one that would cover up. Um, I'm not one that enjoys sunbaking or never tried to sunbake because I knew that it always ended me burning and peeling. So um, post uh, diagnosis, I was as diligent as I was, but I suppose for my teammates, they were the ones that also took a, a leaf out of my book, I guess. Uh, my understanding now of all um, skin cancers and melanomas is um, obviously a lot more than what I did first know. Uh, you know, as I said before, 29 years old and you get diagnosed with a melanoma on your lip and then a little bit, 12 months later, you've got four tumours. You, you obviously do a bit of research. You try not to look at Dr. Google too much, um, but yeah, I guess. Now your, your understanding of you know how 
um, dangerous the sun can be. Um, I've got two kids now, which you know I'm very lucky to have, and I'll be making sure that during summertime they're covered up, and um, you know, because I dare say that some, one of them will have my complexion. So we've got to be careful with the sun in the future. Just do the things that you've been doing and keep doing them. Um, you know, I'm not one that, um, as I said, just tries to sunbake and get about, get out in the sun and get a nice tan. I understand, um, you know, what I can and can't do now. Um, I'm very lucky that, um, you know, I've, I've come out the other end and um, I suppose been um, a poster boy for for melanoma and um, it's not something you wish you were, but. Um, you know, to go through it now and, and try and give advice to other people or, or be an inspiration for somebody going through something similar. Um, you know, it's just, that's what you have to do. Um, I've been given this opportunity and given this chance, so why not spread the word? Um, and, you know, as, as we're here in beautiful spring morning in Melbourne, um, sun's out and there's not a cloud in the sky, it's gonna be probably a day that you, you wouldn't think that, um, you could get burnt, but you've got to be careful. So long sleeves, hats, you know, we've got to be careful for um, what's to come because it's going to be a hot summer this year.